night. Six o'clock's too early to go out. Nine o'clock, get over about 9.30. You know, that's just just about right. So I think that we should, we got over 30,000 people at this school. I think it would be it would be really good if a whole bunch of them came and spent spent the spent the evening with us getting ready for this game. It's supposed to be a beautiful night. You heard KU head football coach Charlie Wyeth. Come show your support for this team on Saturday's home finale. The Jayhawks' 1 and 9 record can very easily be 4 and 6. There's been a last second loss to Rice on a game ending field goal a touchdown against Texas with 13 seconds remaining on homecoming, and a Texas Tech double overtime loss last week in Lubbock. The team has virtually been seconds away from having a decent season record-wise, and they need your support on Saturday to finally get them over the edge on senior night. And with that, we'd like to welcome you into the Charlie Wise Press Conference Show. I'm your host, Matt Gasper. Well, for 32 Kansas seniors, the most successful memories on the field have been few and far between. In the past four years, this Kansas senior class has accumulated an overall record of 11 and 46, but just a 2 and 32 conference record with the lone wins coming against Colorado and last week's opponent, the Iowa State Cyclones, back in 2009. Being that this is the last home game, just like to say, tell you how much I've appreciated, you know, this this group of, of seniors that that are going out. You know, a lot of these guys are on the third coach. I can't even imagine that. You know, during their time frame, going from you know, Coach Mangino to Coach Gill to Coach Weiss, and during your time, and the trials and tribulations they've been through, and um, gutting it out and buying in, and you know, there's two different ways as a coach you can approach guys when you're a new coach. You know, and after we kind of cleaned house at the semester, and st we started to move forward, and you know, you there's some coaches that kind of under under the mentality like. Well, wait till I get my guys in here. Well, these are my guys, you know, and I'll be there for them forever, whatever they need for me, within reason. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, I'll be there for, and I don't need to have recruited them, and I don't need to have coached them to respect them. And I hope that uh, together with the coaches and the underclassmen and the, and the fan base. I'm hoping we can provide enough inspiration and motivation to go ahead and knock off a tough Iowa State team and, and let them have the, the last game here with it, leave with a good taste in their mouth. Being at this For the first time in several weeks, the Jayhawks won't be facing a high-tempo offense. While Iowa State is still capable of putting up the big numbers, they've only surpassed the 30-point mark three times this season. Instead, it's been their tenacious defense that have kept Big 12 offenses in check. Despite a 2-5 and five conference record and losers of two straight, the Cyclones' defense, especially in the linebacker position, could create a world of problems for the Kansas offense. They have two outstanding linebackers. Everyone wants to talk about A.J. Klein because he leads the team in tackles. He usually now plays their boundary linebacker. But Jeremiah George, this number 52, he's all over the field. And especially, he's become more prevalent at Mike Linebacker even since since not went out, as a matter of fact, he's got he's fourth on the team in tackles. But in the last two games, he has 27 tackles. He's just been all all over the field. Shifting gears now to the Iowa State offense, the team is led by senior quarterback Steele Jantz. And while Kansas will also prepare for option quarterback Jared Barnett, it seems evident Jantz will be the one under center come Saturday night. On defense, KU's defense, which thrived on turnovers early in the season, could be very active this week. Jantz has thrown 11 interceptions to just his 13 touchdowns. But what makes him so dangerous is the amount of time he's given in the pocket with the help of his big offensive line. The Kansas defense will have to apply constant pressure to keep Jantz moving around. Now, on offense, here's the key thing. they got eight returning starters on offense, but all five of their offensive linemen. So the heart and soul, of the, you know, usually you go and you talk about the quarterback first or the skill players first, but I like to start talking with their offensive line. They are a physical, workmanlike, well-coached group, group, group of linemen. And, you know, together as a unit, they, they play very well. We'll take a short break, but when we come back, we'll talk about Tony Pearson's explosive game last weekend, as well as what a win would mean to KU's senior class on senior night. Stay with us.
statistics about the dangers of prescription drug abuse. The partnership at drugfree.org. Every year, two million kids play doctor by taking pills not prescribed to them. Talk to your kids about the dangers of prescription drug abuse. The partnership at drugfree.org. I never should have clicked on that link. It, it promised to unlock the secret of male enhancement, but mm, it didn't. All it did was brag to my entire friend list that I had found a cure for the average male and that they should try it too. And once you spam your mom with a message telling her to increase the size of her manhood, family dinners have been a little weird. Welcome to Fogel's. Beautiful, isn't it? You expect options everywhere else. Why not with your medical treatment? Talk with your doctor to explore all your options and find what's right for you. Visit ahrq.gov. Welcome back to the show. We're previewing Senior Day this Saturday for the Kansas football team. While this team's record this season may not have indicated it, this year's team is far better and much more competitive than they were in the previous two seasons. This year isn't quite finished, and the senior class still has one chance to leave KU with a good mouth in their tape, with a good taste in their mouths and momentum for the future. First of all, their experience is not over. Okay, so I would like them to walk out of here with a good taste in their mouth. So if all of a sudden on Saturday night all those 900 game losing streaks and all that other stuff go by the boards, and, you, and you're partying on the field, you're partying on the field after the game, that's what they're going to remember. They're going to remember the camaraderie with their teammates. They're not going to, you, you don't focus on the bad things. You remember the good things. You focus on the good things. And there's still a couple of opportunities for some good memories yet to be created. Now, philosophically, which that question was more a philosophical question, you know, philosophically, I think that they're leaving here well-rounded young men. Saturday night's home finale against Iowa State will have a little different meaning to it. This week, a win wouldn't be for the school or the fans, but rather for the 32 seniors who've been through so much in their tenure wearing crimson and blue. To be honest with you, it's not about the program this week. It's about the seniors this week. I selfishly take the team out of this one this week. I would, I would, I would want that for the seniors, not for the program. I mean, obviously, every, every win is going to matter to the program, but I really... I, I'm dead serious when I say I want to win this game very, very, very badly this week, but not because of me and not because of the program. I want to win it for those kids very badly. In weeks past, Coach Weiss has made it clear that he wants to win games for the program and help build a dynasty here at Kansas. The idea that a coach isn't connected with his team until he can bring in his guys simply isn't true. Every one of the players in that Kansas locker room plays for Kansas. Even though coaches guys like Jake Heaps and Justin McKay will be here next year, Coach Weiss makes it obvious to the entire team, they're all his guys. This can't be about who you played for. This is what school you played for. You, know, you played for Kansas. You didn't play for Weiss. And it's got to be about Kansas. It can't be about a coach. And I think because there's been a number of coaches, it's been very eclectic and segregated Okay, because it's always stereotype or grouped with, with the coach. And I'd rather, by the time I'm out of here, have gotten that stigma out of the way and just have people, you know, glad that they went to Kansas to, to both matriculate and to play football. In Lubbock last Saturday, Kansas had the football with under five minutes to go and had a chance to drive down the field for the winning touchdown. However, once the Hawks reached the 15-yard line, the offense stalled out and fourth down rolled up. While the offense came onto the field to try to draw Texas Tech off sides, Coach Weiss said he had no intentions of actually going for it. Despite the kicking woes for the Jayhawks this season, he trusted his freshman kicker, Nick Prolago, and he delivered and sent the game into overtime. I must trust our team. Because if I didn't trust our team, I'd go for it on fourth down. 
you know, and hey, it didn't work out. And we, we score a touchdown, they get it to third and 10. They make a play on the post, they're now, now they're down there, they score. They come back and score again, and, and we don't, we end up losing. But I mean, you know, the players gotta know that you have confidence in them. Because once you show the players that you don't have confidence in them, you're done. You're done. When we come back, we'll talk about James Sims and Tony Pearson's performances and how we can expect another big game from one or both of them this Saturday. We'll be right back. Those lives, but I know what's in first, our children. Native American youth are the most at-risk population in this country. And that's why I created the Center for Native American Youth. We are working with tribes and families to improve the lives of Native American children and most of all, promote hope. We focus on preventing teen suicide and shining a light on the challenges Native youth face. Please help us build better opportunities for Native American children. Visit our website. Welcome to Fogles. Beautiful, isn't it? You expect options everywhere else. Why not with your medical treatment? Talk with your doctor to explore all your options and find what's right for you. Visit AHRQ.gov. Part is in gaining it, but with every step, I lower my risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease. And that makes every step very much worth the effort. Learn how you can help stop diabetes. Visit CheckupAmerica.org or call 1-800-DIABETES. NBA player, and now, so am I. That's the power of family. That's why I support Thanks USA, which provides scholarships for the families of our troops. Give to Thanks USA for stronger families and a stronger future. Lead paint poisoning affects one million children today. If you're pregnant or have young children and your home was built before 1978, you could be at risk. Learn how to protect your family. To find your home's danger zones, the health effects, or just to find help, log on to leadfreekids.org. Welcome back. Well, the two-headed monster of James Sims and Tony Pearson collectively had their best game of the season together last week in the double overtime loss to Texas Tech. Sims rushed for 127 yards, his sixth consecutive game with 100 or more rushing yards, while Pearson added 202 on just 16 carries. Coach Weiss says a lot of the success last week was because of each, other's, of each other's presence. James couldn't do it without Tony, and Tony couldn't do it without James. That's what I thought that Tony would be able to do with how people are zeroing in on trying to stop James Sims. I think if you did, did it without James and Tony alone, it wouldn't be quite so easy. You know, I think that it's, it's a compliment to the guys up front, but it's a compliment to respect uh, that, that they have to play pay James too because what are you going to do just let him run up the middle while you know t Tony's going to the outside you know it's a it's a it's a compliment to both of them with the Jayhawk team heavily favoring the run week in and week out the opposing coaching staff has to try to figure out a new attack to stop the KU offense sticking with the status quo then will not work for the Jayhawks if you can expect KU to come out Saturday and run the same type of plays and the same type of formations you saw last week you're mistaken I'm fired up for Monday to figure, okay, how are we going to run it this week? You know, because they know we're going to run it, we know we're going to run it, but you've got to stay one step ahead of the posse. Because if we go, let's say we take last week's game plan, where you rush for 400 yards in the game, and let's go put it against Iowa State, we would get the crap kicked out of us. They would dog us. Because, they're, you know, they would have answers to those things. Now, that doesn't mean you don't run those plays. You have to figure out a different way to run them. You know, you still have the plays, but you have to, you know, it's called, it's called window dressing. You got to dress them up, but, you know, you still want to, at the end of the day, you know, be able to do the things you're best at. Senior night isn't just another game for Kansas. It's the final chance for 32 men who've worked countless hours to go out and make the fan base and the university proud one last time. Coach Weiss's number one goal this season was to have a competitive team. And despite a few slip-ups, this team has accomplished that, and they deserve to conclude their careers at Memorial Stadium as winners. 
Well, it's different from my perspective because I know one thing, I, pl I place significance on it. So I don't know what's happened before, nor do I really care. I just know what I, uh, I think it's important to me that these guys, with how things have went, you know, um, get shown some respect. That's more than anything else. And that wraps up this edition of the Charlie Wise Press Conference Show. Kickoff on Saturday against Iowa State on Senior Night is at 6 p.m. We'll be off next week, but back the following week to get you ready for the Jayhawks' season finale against Geno Smith and the West Virginia Mountaineers. Until then, thank you seniors and rock chalk Jayhawk.